So doctor now meets 600 pound man who can't stop getting food deliveries. My 600 pound life. Let's check it out. I wake up in the morning time. The first thing I do before I even brush my teeth. Good morning, how you doing? I'm calling to put in an order for breakfast this morning, please. This nigga said before he even brush his damn teeth, he putting a McDonald's delivery order. I didn't even know you could deliver McDonald's on the phone. I gotta look or whatever service I need, do what I'm gonna order for breakfast. That's the first thing I do. All right, can I get the two slices of steak house premium pancake? <laughs> can I get two orders of that, please? I spend most of my time on these delivery services. Can I get the game day family feast? God damn! Uh, can I get the original French toast? The amount of stuff that you could get is just crazy. Yo, why is this nigga built like this, bro? What am I watching? Bro, you see how this nigga built, bro? This nigga, it's a big ass nigga. <laughs> I'm seeing straight bussy. That's all bussy. What is that? What the fuck is that? See, so I just, I get excited. It's like the Super Bowl. The you Super Bowl? You want now, you understand? And I'll uh, slice of, uh, let me get a slice of ham. This nigga sure. still ordering? Okay. Is that all? Yes. But once I place an order, I get anxious, even though the food don't take long. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Oh, right, no. Nah. Hey, look, if I'm that goddamn big and I'm ordering food, I'm going to tell the ass leave it at the damn door. But he's so anxious. He's so he's so angry. He wants some damn he wants some food now. Like he like give me my shit now. But I'm the type of nigga, bro. I'm that damn big. You can leave it right there. I'm going to get go ahead and send me the picture when you drop it off. I'm going to come get that bitch. But this nigga, he he an angry fat nigga. He need his food now. It's his two pound breakfast. And once it get here, it's the best part of my day. Why the fuck you got an Apple Watch? You not wearing that bitch. You not wearing no goddamn. I bet your heart rate at 201. You put that motherfucker on, walk to the door and back and sit down. It's at 201. Blood pressure high than bitch. Because I love to eat. And I'm ready to go, you know? I'm always ready to eat. Oh I just my feel God. like the food has to be eaten. Food could be here and I tell myself, stop, just put it down. 10 minutes later, for some reason, I'm back at it again. Damn. Something in my head is telling me I have to eat the food. food Bro, you see all that goddamn food? That's, this man got French toast with them chicken bites, sausage links, waffles, fucking pancakes, bacon. Fuck, that bitch look, that shit look good as fuck with, a, with two orange juices. That shit look good, man. I want some of that. Let me get a bite. Let me get a bite of them shit. I it just takes away the pain. It takes away all the guilt. It takes away all the issues. Everything just goes away. I'll we'll never have that first bite. It just takes me to another place. Need a goddamn haircut. That's what you need. Nigga, about to eat the damn plate. You know the food. Hungry ass just nigga. Blocks the world around you, and then you feel comfortable. You feel like nobody could see you. It gives me everything I want. But there's nothing worse than coming to an end of a meal. So. When breakfast is over, then I'm already thinking about lunch. Damn, nigga, you just ate 10,000 fucking calories. 10,000 goddamn calories, and you want the next goddamn meal already. You think about lunch? Nigga, you ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and tomorrow's breakfast. Hungry ass nigga. I do get full, but it's temporary. I'm then disappointed. I'm back on the phone. Back on I don't the phone. I know what I'm gonna get for lunch. Month one, what happened in month one? Everybody's ready? Yes, sir. They probably waiting on your what big ass. It? Can you can you bring that down for me and I get it downstairs? I gotta hold up the, the, the rails when I come downstairs. All right, so I'm ready, you ready? Yeah, um, come on, let's, let's go. Let's make those moves. Let's go make these moves. Let's, let's make these money moves. Let's go, let's these go. These money I'm moves? Gonna, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get up. So gonna I gotta do it? certain things sometimes. No, I, and sometimes I need to, you know, I'm on my weight loss journey, so I gotta do things. What, are you afraid you gonna make me fall? Nah, I just, I got it. You sure? Come on, let's go. My friends Mike and Marcus and my cousin Cheyenne is taking me to Houston to see Dr. Now. God damn, boy, that We're nigga big as a hallway. the last ditch effort for me to lose weight. But I'm not looking forward to any of this right now. Be careful. I know this is a now or never situation for me. So I just got to do this. That nigga about, to, mentally that nigga about to tumbleweed down the steps. Because it's gonna be a hard experience for me. That nigga going down the steps like these. 
He doing all that? You ain't, you ain't even move! Nigga, you ain't get nowhere! Why you sitting down already? You ain't get nowhere! Nigga ain't took one goddamn step down the steps! And this nigga already sitting down! Get your big ass up and get your ass down them stairs! You got somewhere to be, nigga! Your ass gonna stop right there. He going to sleep. He taking a fucking nap. When we finally see him after the COVID and stuff like that, we seen that he got bigger. Five Don't blame this shit on COVID. No elevator. And he was always saying, you know, I need to lose weight. I don't know how to lose weight. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Or use that energy. Come on, come on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, hell no. Nah. Nigga, wait. This nigga pissing me off. Stress is not going to do anything it's for it. Three it's three steps. Make it worse. So you have to do something. You need help. It's OK. Everybody needs help. That nigga sleep. We've just been able to roll into Dr. Now's place. It's taken a total of three days, but I pretty much was able to do what I planned and stay steady with my pain. You need more than Dr. Now, nigga. You need Dr. Doctor now, before Ready, and please. after. Let's go get him. Let's go see what Dr. Now is talking about. Woo, it is hot. If you hot, I know this nigga, is, he's, he's in the Sahara hot, right now. I'm getting my legs together. Hold up. Yeah, Give your, me a moment. I see your feet little ashy there. A little ashy? Your feet ashy as fuck. Not just a little. That nigga, he, he don't even fit in the goddamn van. This nigga hanging out the goddamn van. The, bro, the, you see them ankles? Them ankles fluffy as hell. Some... <laughs> Let me stop. My nervousness about seeing him today is mostly At least he got polo on, though. That bitch hard. Out. My wobble leg. You wobbling? Yeah. Come on. God I damn, I know that shit hurt. If I hadn't prepared myself to do that. So I'm ready to hear that. As long as it means I'm going to get the help I need to get a better life. Yeah, it's hot as hell in Texas, boy. I know it's this hot out here. James? That nigga just sat down. You got to give him a second. Give him a few minutes. Let's go, James. Gotta pull that damn jacket over his booty. It's been a little while since I got my weight. But the last time I was about 600 pounds. And that's break the where damn I'm scale. expected to be at. Okay, you wanna step Yo, up? Oh, you see this nigga player bill? Do you see this nigga's player bill, bro? How the fuck do you attain this bill right here? That is a big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. It's a big ass nigga, bro. Big jolly ass nigga, Santa Claus built ass nigga, bro. EDP, now he bigger than EDP. Chungus Lucky, that nigga do look like Big Chungus. <laughs> Let's go. Fridge protector. But I'm really hoping finding out my weight today. Plate cleaner. Take doesn't time. show me that it's a lot higher than that. 625? Your weight is 625. God That's dang. the range I was expecting, so I'm happy about that. What? That's the range you was expecting, so you happy about that, nigga? You're 625 motherfucking pounds. You was expecting to be that, and you happy about... <laughs> nigga, hurt my damn head. But all this walking and moving around is taking too much of a toll on me. Oh, y'all don't understand my knees. That boy body shaming can't be body shaming if you're over 400 pounds. We're trying to save you. Facts. I'm trying to say, bro, this nigga, this nigga need to be saved. I've been cramped up in the car for days. For days? I'm not just giving out. You think you're ready or you need me to help you? We're going to go to room five. Room five. Need to get his damn nigga. Get him a microphone. I bet you can here. sing. They can either sing or rap. Big With people, they can see. It is, it's a lot on me. 
But this, I'm here to get help. This with is that. ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Because I need to change that. You okay? Yeah. I took a lot, a lot out of you. Hello, how y'all doing? Hey, Dr. Now, how you Nile. doing? Dr. Now. Doing okay? Hey, how you doing? Yes, good. we are. Mm -hmm. What about you? Good, I'm doing well. You must be James. Yes, I am. And who's this young lady? That's my cousin. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I'm his cousin. You trying to holler? All right, so you all came all the way from New York, huh? Yes, sir. What brought you from New York? Weight loss surgery, Dr. Now. I need to get this weight off of me. Okay, so you are 625 pounds. And you have a BMI of almost 104. Is this the highest weight you have been? Yes, sir. OK, so how do you think you got to this point? Eating. Eating. Well, I can't argue with that. So <laughs> tell me about your eating habit. Oh, it's not good. Um, I'm eating outside foods. I'm, I'm not able to cook for myself because I'm not my cooking is not that good. So I'm constantly buying food outside. This nigga blaming his goddamn habit on co not cooking his own damn food. It ain't not cooking your own damn food. It's your ass eat too damn much. That's the fucking problem. It ain't what the food coming from. It's because you eating too much of it. Stop lying to yourself. You no, know, um, on a day-to-day -day basis, lunch, breakfast, dinner, it's being getting unhealthy meals from outside delivered to my home every day. So you eat mostly what you order? Yeah, or? order food, yeah, delivery. Well, they can deliver the salads. So the issue That's is what I'm the saying. food you're choosing and the amount you're eating. And so what is driving you to eat like that? Uh, lately, it's, it's been depression. Lately. So you're eating because of depression? Yes, I believe so. Because of my And then he got the nerd that had the goddamn Apple Watch on. What are you checking on your goddamn Apple Watch? What the fuck are you checking on your goddamn Apple Watch? What are you checking on that shit, nigga? You ain't doing no damn exercise. You ain't tracking your fucking calories. Why the fuck you got the Apple Watch on? Pissing me the hell off. My weight. So you're depressed because of your weight, and your weight is depressing you, and then you eat? Yes, um, it's leading me to depression. So that's yeah. what you call a vicious circle? I guess so. All right, so what have you done to change that? I mean, not a know, damn I just, thing. I haven't done anything to be honest with you. I Eat just, more. I just blocked myself out from the world. Um, you know, depression is because I, when I go out, how people look at me, how I'm that treated. That nigga listen the right way. I know he do. And stuff like that. So I just block out the world and I just stay home and just eat. So what is your expectation coming here if you haven't been willing to change your situation on your own? Doctor, now I'm here to see you because I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Like, you trying to put the damn food down? me the right way and I'll follow. I just want to get it done. I just... Well, James, I can give you direction, but there's going to be no magic about it. And so if you expect that you continue doing what you're doing and I make you lose weight, that's not going to happen. Right. Uh, so you need to understand that. You're going to have me in the driving seat of this process, and it's going to be up to you to make those changes. My God, man. My fucking God. That video pissed me off, because this nigga... That video pissed me off. But shout out Dr. Now, but like I said, he needs Dr. Now before and after, goddamn. What the fuck? I know that bitch ain't just start playing by his damn self. I know that shit ain't happening. Okay.